Thanks for joining me as we open up and inspect my first oil filter since I switched over to Valvoline Restore and Protect. At any point during this video, you can go down to the description below and look at the time and title. Click on that time and you can jump forward in this video. Now let's get into it. All right, let's open this bad boy up. So we got the AUC do oil filter opener for you out. Now normally what you do is you'll actually put the oil filter on a vise and then you'll grab this, you'll tighten it, you'll in and then you'll spin it around. But I do not have a vise or a workbench, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the strength of 10 bears and I'm going to go ahead and hold the filter and spin this around the filter. First, we're going to go ahead and secure the filter onto it. So let's go ahead and get this filter over there. I'm going to clean up the filter as much as possible so it doesn't slip on my hands. All right. So here we go. So this is the first oil filter to come out of my 2002 Chevy Silverado 1500 5.2 liter V8 4x4 Z71 with 288,000 miles on it and we want to check to see the media to see how bad it's in there so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that I think I just felt it puncture through yep I think it punctured through so I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit more for good measure and let's keep our little station here clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold this and try to spin it around. Actually, why don't we try this first? Why don't we try spinning it while it's on top of it, huh? Let's try that smart guy. There we go. That's right. I will bend you to my will cut you. There it goes. I hear it cutting. I think it's cutting all the way through. Yeah, there we go. Ha -ha. I'll just go ahead and tear it off while it's got a hold of it there. So I guess you normally want to try to get a nice clean cut the first go around so you don't end up with some shavings in there and then you're like, wait a minute. That's for my motor. So move this over here. And for those of you that are gonna be comparing your oil filters to this filter, I'll go ahead and put the uh, model of this pure layer filter. Also, I will include the uh, model number or part number of the oil filter that I replaced it with. I put a tall boy in there. So it's a little bit longer, easier to grab onto next time I do the oil or whenever I do the oil change. And of course, it's gonna catch a lot more uh, dirt that gets into the motor. All right, so for those of you that are gonna be comparing your oil filter to this one, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 orifices on the top portion there. And then let's take a look at the media. That looks pretty bad. Wow. The oil looks a lot cleaner on the dipstick than it does there. Let me put you aside for a second. I'll play with you in a little bit. That reminds me, I forgot to put the magnets on the oil filter on the new one. This came off of that there. Before we look at the media, let's look in here and see what we got in here. So down at the bottom is where I poked that hole earlier to drain the oil filter. And I told you guys that this trick works. It did not work this time. I think the reason it didn't work this time is because I had the uh, uh, oil fill plug or oil fill, um, the oil fill hole, I had the uh, cap off. So it, I think that it didn't have a vacuum created. So a bunch of oil started coming out of here. I'll show you in a different video where it did work. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and enhance to see what we can see in there. Cause it looks like we got a couple we got a little, a few little things floating around in there. So come here. So it looks like we got those two little pebbles. So do you guys know what floats in the water? Very small pebbles. I'm gonna go ahead and finger it out and see, see what we can see here. I do not know what you are. Oh, little piece of metal. I think that that's actually those pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are actually from me cutting the can open. We're going to go ahead and say that because the little shits are sharp. So if you ever do open up one of these cans, be sure to uh, do one cut and not try to do multiple cuts because like I mentioned earlier, uh, 
if you do multiple cuts, then you might end up getting shavings in there and you don't know if it's out of the motor or if it's from the can itself. So we're gonna go ahead and put this aside and take a look at this. Also, some people like to do a thread count and it looks like we've got, let me go ahead and zoom in and enhance. It looks like one, focus, focus Danielson. One, two, three, four, maybe five total. All right, so we're gonna put you aside. Now let's get down to business. So here's the media. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that prior to the first oil change, what I did was I had actually ran some carburetor cleaner down to the valve lifter holes, and I also ran it with a quart of uh, transmission fluid to clean it up. So let's see what additional cleaning the valve lean restore and protect has done. The media is all over the place. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. It's amazing that they make these out of such good rubber because I mean, people only use these filters for like three months. So this is never gonna break down. It seems like a waste. And I think they saw a part number in there. I know you guys like to compare the part numbers to see if they're coming out of the same warehouse or factory. Flip this over. And there's some type of a code there. And I cannot make it out. And there's another code here, but I cannot make that out what that is. All right, all right, now let's look at the media. This guy looks pretty rough. I'm gonna go ahead and get an overhead light going here. There we go, focus Danielson. I'm gonna go over to the part that's open. It looks like the media is coming apart there already on its own. Come on, pure later, you can do better than that. It's not even consistently all the way around. Maybe that's a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get a scraper and see what we can get out of there. Here we go. This is a special tool used for inspecting media. I carved this out of, I carved this out of a larger toothpick myself. In here. So let's look at this down here. I want to see if this is like a bunch of gunk. Whatever it is, it's stuck to it real good. This reminds me of a bunch of buildup that I found on the uh, valve covers. It had a bunch of hard buildup that looks similar to this here. And I also found um, in the uh, next to the valve lifters, also found a bunch of little flakes that were like this too. So this is very interesting to see. And speaking of Interesting to see, whenever I do the oil change and I send the sample to get tested, that's also going to tell me whether or not there's either um, fuel getting into the engine or water. And then that would kind of give me an indication of what might be going off me. My fuel, uh, if there's fuel in the system and with mixed with the oil, then that'll tell me that one of my fuel injectors is leaking also. If there's water, well, then you know that there's water getting into the head gaskets. So those are some other, other cool indications we're going to get whenever I submit my oil sample. So you guys got to be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you know whenever I upload that video. So, wow, this, this media just looks really dirty. Like it has like a lot of hard stuff in there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open and see what we get. It is interesting too on these um, pure layers how it has this... Uh, Plastic piece inside, very sturdy. I saw that in the uh, one that I replaced it with, except it looked just a little bit different. It actually had like a winding piece of plastic down the center. Let's go ahead and cut this open. Here's that hair roller they put inside. I wonder what happened to hair rollers. They went out of style or they were recycled and put into oil filters. Let me put that aside there. All right, now we can really see the nitty gritty in here. Literally gritty. Wow, that's pretty bad. I thought that I was gonna have like a really good clean bill of health here. Let me open that back up. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get a clean bill of health here, but this looks pretty bad. It did a lot of cleaning, a lot of crap in there. It's some thick stuff too. It's, uh, it's rough. Wow, I didn't expect it to get a bunch of rough stuff like that out. I thought it was just gonna be maybe just a little bit of sludge or something, but 
You can see all that. And I can feel it on my finger. It's like, it's rough like sandpaper. Jesus. This is similar to like, if I was desert racing on an ATV. Let me, I want to get a nice goop. I want to be able to pick that up so I can show you. I did not think that this was going to come out of my motor. I was talking a lot of crap saying that I cleaned Clean my motor out really good. This is certainly getting a lot of crap out of my motor that I didn't realize was in there. Oh my god, that is nuts. You can see that here. I'm gonna rub my finger across that one so you guys can see. See how it disappears? I wonder if you can see on my finger. Now, trust me, guys, I do not do off roading in that truck. There shouldn't be all this stuff in the engine. So, this is just cleaning out a bunch of old stuff that was in there. It's been hanging around in there. So that valve and restore protect is doing something. It's getting it out. Look at that. All those lines right there. I'll go ahead and do it again. That's all. It's. It seems like my engine has been sanding itself from the inside whenever it's running. That is nuts. I did not expect to see this much in the oil filter. So. Whenever we do the oil change here in about two months, we're going to compare this oil filter to the one that I'll replace, that I will replace, and we'll see if we have a bunch of buildup on it like this. So now I do, now I get it. Whenever they say change your oil filter out early, whenever you start using restore, uh, valve and restore and protect, because oh, look at that, that's clogging up this oil filter real good. So if this oil filter is getting clogged up, then you know that. Um, it may use the bypass to send the oil back into the engine because this is all clogged up. So what happens? Then it's just getting a direct injection of all this crap going back into the engine. Wow. Well, I'm really glad that I watch a lot of videos that you guys put out there uh, showing the oil filters and the, um, and the valve and restore and protect what it does to an oil filter after a few hundred miles. I mean, this is after 500 miles right here. This is nuts. All the little black mounds you see, that is all grime. Wow, look at that. Maybe whenever I took the oil, the oil filter and I emptied it, I should have uh, maybe got a sample of that and sent that in. And that would have been interesting to see. All right, so I guess inspecting your oil filter does tell you something, especially whenever you start using Valve and Restore and Protect, immediately you may be able to see something like this now. Keep in mind, I have a 2002 Chevy Silverado 5.3 liter V8 with 288,000 miles on it. Original motor. So let's see what Valve and Restore and Protect will give us on the next oil filter. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So that way you know whenever I upload another video and you'll see my next oil change as well. All right, you guys, I'll be back with you soon.